Welcome to Rapid Prototyping Laboratory. Overview of 3D printing. Myself, G. Prashant, Laboratory Assistant. I am making this video under guidance of GVSSKR Naganjani Lusar, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE. Coming to overview of 3D printing. What is 3D printing? It is a method to create a three dimensional object layer by layer using computer created design. So here we use a CAD to create an object. Here object is the end product. And what is 3D printing used for? A designer use 3D printers to quickly create product models and their prototypes. How does it work? A 3D printing uses a computer added design to create the three dimensional object through layering method. It may be in engraving format or embossing format. It is in additive manufacturing model. What are the benefits of this 3D printing? It is the ability to print complex shapes and interlocking parts without any form of assembly. It is possible by 3D printing. That, that's why it is a unique model. Coming to complex shapes, which means that by inserting one shape into the another one and by adding two shapes all this possible by using this one and interlockings when it comes to the chain model without any additional assembly parts we can create a chain by using 3d printing these are the examples for complex shapes and interlocking parts Coming to the workflow, here first we need to design our product in our mind, figure out that product in our mind. That, that idea is implemented by using this CAD method. There are plenty of CAD softwares available in internet. From By using any one of the model, here we are going to design that product in in a digital format after creating this one we have to give another software that is slicing this slicing is to generate a g code which this g code is understand by our printer and af after after converting this slicing, we have to upload that file to the pen drive or directly upload to the your 3D printer. These are 3D printing parts. Here we have to insert a spool to the filament. Here we are going to load the filament by using required material. In general we use PLA, ABS materials. After setting initial conditions of this 3D printer, we need to start the print. Here it is printing and after the completion of printing, some additional parts will be having like supporting material we can after completion of our 3d print there may be a chances to get some supporting materials along with our product we have to remove in this process so after removing in this additional part we will get a original object and simply first we have to design our product 
a designer is used some CAD software and slicing software to generate a required files. Here we are going to use two different kind of softwares. One is CAD and second one is slicing. So in CAD we are going to design this particular structure and that file is converted into the STL format. After the conversion of this STL format, STL format file is given to the slicing software. This slicing software gives that a G code. This G code is given to the our printer. In CAD, there are several type of files available like STL, OBJ, MTL. STL means standard triangle language and OBJ means object file. Okay, here G code is geometric code. STL, there is no info about text and colors. When coming to the object, it consists of some color information. Slicing means a cross sectional layers of your object. G code is filled with in contour, it's called geometric code. G code is a machine language which can be understood by our 3D printer. So after completion of the uh, after creation of this G code, we have to give that to the printer. So these kind of printers are available in market. So after completion of this printing, we go for post process. In post process, we can uh, we use brushing and hot water treatment and vaporization. There are some techniques to smoothen our product and removing of the supporting material and smoothness increasing the smoothness all those kind of actions will be taken after the printing so there you will get an end product thanking you